very small portion of it is knowing. They're completely two different things. But back into pain, pleasure, and suffering is that a lot of it has to do, majority of it with, is our, with our training. How we've been trained, how we've been brought up, what sort of training we have gone through and we've been prepared for life, which most of us have not. And later on in years, through a lot of dissatisfaction, a lot of failures, we have to fail so many times or go through some kind of shock treatments, losing somebody or losing a body part or losing money or love or whatever it is. And it forces us to turn inwards, to look within and to look for answers in life because you can't find it outside. So, and now with this situation of the COVID-19 and what is going on in the world, it has created a perfect environment for a lot of people around the world to seek, to look for answers because they can't find the answers outside in the world because the world that we know or we believe that it's our reality is kind of falling apart or it's betraying you in a way. You feel betrayed. You feel like, what's going on? And this desire, this feeling like we want to hang on to what it used to be. You know, I want it to go back to normal. I want everything to be the way it used to be. Well, we have to understand and we have to come to this agreement within ourselves that number one, that world that you used to know, it's gone. This is the reality right now. This is the only thing that exists. Whatever this is, with the social distancing or whatever qualities it has, it's good, it's bad. But the mind wants to go back and compare it to what it used to be. And a year ago, the mind would go and compare what it was into a utopian world. That And that's the subject of the uh, neo uh, spirituality of a utopian life that is all going to be lovey-dovey and light and beauty and angels and blah 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 and there's not going to be any pain and suffering in it but that's impossible as long as you're in a third dimensional body in a physical form in this dimension you cannot escape pain and pleasure. It's impossible. It's part of the package of being born with it. It's like you were born with two hands, two eyes, nose, ears, your ability to sense things. You can't be born in this life and have a human body and not be able to sense. It's impossible. That's a part of the package. So even this idea that I want all of us, or I would, I'm imagining most of us want the world to go back to what it used to be. So now, okay, so what is the attitude? If your attitude is the acceptance of what is, okay, this is the reality. This is what is going on right now. Whether it's man-made or it happened. Whether it's a conspiracy that it created this situation or this was like existence created some kind of virus and it turned us to be in this point. Whatever is your story, whatever is the story, it doesn't matter. I'm not interested in the story. It's not my focal point. 
because I hear all kinds of stories. You know, some I agree, some I disagree, some sound good, some they don't. But the story is not my point. What, what is my point at this point is right now in this moment, how do I deal with life right now? Okay, not being in an imaginary situation of, oh, it's going to be like this and we're going to be transcending and elevating our consciousness in this other kind of uh, reality, uh, higher level of consciousness and da, 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 da. I'm talking about right now, real, our lives right now, the way it is and dealing with the knots and bolts of this dimension of today, this moment, because this is the only thing that there is. This moment right now, this eternal moment that keeps recreating itself. And it's always here and it's always now. Now, if I go to this place that I hate this reality, I can't stand this. And this whole thing about wearing a mask and going to public and not being able to go to uh, a restaurant comfortably or not be able to go to a, a festival or I can't go dancing or I can't go to a party and I can't get together with my family because everybody's so freaked out and my friends are divided in two sections and some are cool and some of them are really uh, worried and blah, blah, blah. And that's my idea. And I don't want it to be this way and I want it to be a different day way. Then I suffer. It's very simple. Then suffering starts happens because I am very heavily invested in the idea that things should be different than what they are. That God, life, existence doesn't know what it's doing and I know better and things should be in a different way. But the reality is things are not in a different way. This is what it is right now. And if I can exercise and practice my higher level of consciousness in this moment now, then this idea of living in a higher level of consciousness is always going to be postponed. It's always going to be deferred to another time. I have to demonstrate it now to myself and live it now, regardless of the external conditions. And look at the external conditions as an opportunity that's been presented to me to help me grow and reach and elevate to this higher level of consciousness, which is also here. Now, that's a different attitude of looking at what is going on today in the external world and turning the poison into medicine, turning this situation that to me it's kind of unfortunate or dissatisfying or not the way I want it. Okay, so that's my attitude. I don't, don't really like this. And I'm going to use this towards my own advantage to help me elevate instead of complaining about it or fighting it. It's completely different. All of a sudden you turn everything around.